Banned in Britain, but busy recruiting from all over the world. We have brothers from Bangladesh, from Iraq, from Cambodia, Australia, UK. This propaganda video by the extremist group ISIS appears to show at least three British jihadists in Syria, a land they call Sham. We understand no borders. We have participated in battles in Sham and we will go to Iraq in a few days. It's a recruitment video posted online and the Home Office wants it taken down. This is a message to the brothers who stayed behind. This man from Australia has since been killed and tonight this man's father, of Yemeni origin, spoke out from the family home in Cardiff. I want to cry. Why are you doing this? Who led him to go there? Who make fatwa for them to go there? On what basis? The video, slickly produced and widely circulated, has appalled Britain's largest collective of Muslim organizations. The mainstream Muslim reaction is to make sure that the young people do not appreciate that they're, they're going away there or actions like that is not going to help either the Muslim community or the Iraqis and uh, it will only cause worries and anguish to their parents. Nearly 500 Britons are believed to have gone to fight in Syria, most joining extremist groups. They include this man, the Crawley Bomber, the first Briton to blow himself up there. ISIS and its followers are making extensive use of social media. It's an integral part of their strategic plan to take over more territory. They are so present and their message gets out so quickly and it's so powerful. And there may even be a military purpose to that in the sense that their opponents are so scared of them because they seem so powerful, they seem so brutal and gruesome that this kind of propaganda that gets out almost has a strategic military component to it. ISIS members are fighting in two countries, Syria and Iraq. But here the government believes they also pose a threat to Britain. Whitehall officials will not reveal exactly what the intelligence is that's prompting the government to say ISIS is planning to attack the UK. But we've learned that MI5, the security service here, are now having to devote the greatest amount of their casework to tracking jihadists leaving Britain for Syria and some coming back from there. For now, the focus of ISIS fighters like these is firmly on the Middle East. But the more the West gets drawn into the conflict in Iraq, the more Britain risks becoming their target. Frank Gardner, BBC News.